Welcome back again, YouTube. This is Nick the Kid here with another video. So, in this video is going to be the second silver video that I have. And I'm a little bit excited about showing you this. This is going to be um, my collection of silver. So, as I brought to you in my first video, it was basically tips and tricks of how to find silver in basically your coin pile. If you've never been searching for silver before, don't know how to look for it, check out that video. Anyway, this is my silver stacking video. I'm just going to cover basically my coin collection right now. I do have a small silver collection, so hope this is fun. Hope it's exciting for you guys and hope you'll learn something from it. Bear with me on the length of this video because I'm not sure how long it'll be, but I'll try to do my best. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and to the silver community out there watching, please subscribe to my channel. It'll help me out a lot, and I hope to bring you some future silver videos, maybe some gold. If I end up getting around to investing into that, I will bring up that video or those videos as well into the future. So hang tight, let's get started with the video. So this is going to be silver stacking and basically going over a few different uh, forms of silver stacking that I have here that I could show you guys. And I have a little bit of a unboxing surprise, so to speak, so stay tuned. So let's get on with the video. So, as I explained before in my initial video, I had a constitutional junk silver type video, just a basic uh, entry video. This my first video was these about these two coins here, two dimes that I found. This one I found on the floor at the post office for free. It's a 1963 dime. It's kind of dirty, but it's silver. And this other dime here is a 1960. This one I found at my retail job in the drawer because I'm cash register cashier there. So I found that in the cash drawer. Paid 10 cents for that. Found this guy on the floor at the post office for free. So it's a good bargain there. So uh, there's a couple different types of silver stacking. Uh, first and foremost, there's bullion which is basically well really this one's not bullion i mean it is in essence but this one's a little bit of a collector's piece here this one's kind of unique I'll try to do a little bit bit of a story on each of these pieces here this is my 90 1987 88 M, nba mvp michael jordan it's a one ounce Troy piece of silver there. It's pretty cool. Silver round. So the, basically that's basic bullion. I mean basically all of this is basic bullion. Um, but this here, as you can tell, is constitutional silver. So here we have some Mer uh, Roosevelt dimes. We have a 1951 half dollar, 50 cents, half dollar. This one is a, what, I, what they call Benji. It's a Benjamin. It's really cool. This one's a faded out 1918 half dollar. It's got a eagle on the back there. Pretty rough condition, but still kind of cool. We have a 1914 quarter, United States of America, quarter dollar, this one is a foreign Canadian quarter, 1937 silver quarter, Canadian, I do believe they have slightly different percent of silver in their coins if anyone would be kind enough to let me know in the comment section what uh, purity 
Canadians have in their coins, I'd like to know. This one's your typical piece dollar, so it's a full dollar. Pretty big coins, pretty hefty, kind of neat. And so, yeah, there's constitutional old coins. Here's a bag of mercury dimes. These are really popular to collect. It's a lot of collectors there. Big old bag of mercury dimes there. And they get another small bag of mercury dimes here. Pretty cool. Here we have a special edition 2000 Silver Eagle. 0.999 fine silver. As you can see here, it's got some toning on the edge. Pretty cool. Hand painted. And we move down to like more of a collector's pieces, I guess. I'm actually missing one. I think it goes in between here. But this is Inglehard's collection. It's actually really cool because these are fractional pieces that are pretty uh, unique. I, I just, I really like it a lot. 1985, they're all 85. It's, they come as an entire set. I don't have the set. I'm just missing one coin. If someone knows this set, has seen this set, let me know which one I'm missing. But I believe it's this one, possibly. Because it goes from smaller to larger as you go up. There's a mid-grade size there, size there. Possibly a mid-grade size here. Let me know if you know in the comments section there. But these are really nice pieces. They're like absolutely pristine condition. If I had the set, I'd like to send the set and to grade it in a slab. But I don't have that other one that I'm missing. So I don't... Uh, Plan on doing that anytime soon because I don't think I'll be able to find that unless I pay a pretty penny for that. And I don't really care to because I already paid enough for these as you can tell. So, and we have a slabbed graded Morgan 1921 MS62. 70 being the highest grade so that's really kind of a not so good grade but better than none this one's uh 2012 san francisco eagle 69 ultra cameo ultra cameo just basically means that you could see a reflection of the mirror there you can see the lens of the camera there pretty cool one grade off of being perfect. And again, there's my Michael Jordan. So, there's my small silver collection. It may seem super tiny to some, or it may seem extremely large to some people. Um, I do have some other coins in my collection that are sets, dated sets, um, that are just in hard cases but they're not silver this is pretty cool here it's uh kind of an unboxing thing here to show you it's from the treasury department san francisco california 1964 uc what is the uc for it means uncirculated and back then i guess certain sets came in pouches here and the first pouch we have is a Philadelphia. And you got the Denver. There are other sets, but this is just one. My Jews, 1964. So this piece here, which is your 50 cent piece Kennedy. It's the last year that they made the Kennedys. 
Well, no, I take it back. No. Last year that they made the silver. Sorry. They did make other candies, obviously. Um, they did them actually pretty early, I think. Uh, well, the latest one I came across, I think it was like 1997, something like that. They made them for quite some time. Um, so that one's 50 cent piece. Got the dime there. Quarter here. Nickel. Penny. Same thing down here for the Denver pouch. Still in pretty good condition. You know, I know that I lay them on top of each other like this. So, probably are blemishes and stuff. And actually, to my surprise, them being in these pouches for as long as I've had this collection, uh, usually they have horrible, horrible toning. Absolutely horrible toning in these packages. And I know a lot of people actually, some of them, most people actually take them out of these packages and get them slabbed and graded. But, you know, knock on wood, this is a pretty well uh, kept condition for as long as I've had these, probably for at least 10, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 years probably. And they still haven't toned, which is quite amazing but as you can tell there actually the uh nickel has toned surprisingly because silver hasn't which silver does tone and that one see this one has more of a golden hue to it this nickel one yeah, has a little bit of it too but not too bad not as bad as the philadelphia one there's my san francisco pouch Here's one that I got from my uncle. It's kind of cool. Marine Corps 235th anniversary silver dollar. This one's really neat. I like it. There's a limited edition of them, but they minted quite a bit of them. So I don't really sort of don't consider it limited edition. There's the sir, ticket certificate sorry, of authenticity. Tells you everything there. George W. Bush. Tells you the story of everything there. On the reverse side, tells you the uh, weight, diameter, 90% silver, 10% copper, mintage, 600,000. All options, which, meaning this one's probably the one that's most made because they had ones that were like this that are just the plain backing they have other ones that are uh the cameo and ultra cameo but this is just your most basic back still in absolute excellent condition um so that is the raising of the flag at the uh battle of iwo jima you don't know that it's an iconic historic picture go look it up if you've never seen it before it's pretty cool it's got a lot of uh detail and meaning in the photo it's pretty cool i i i like it i got it from my uncle who's a uh marine veteran he gave it to me for my birthday one year so i've kept it ever since and I will forever keep it. Don't want to get rid of that. I'm actually excited to show you this other unboxing. This other unboxing is United States Silver Proof Set 2005. This one's pretty cool. I like it. I got this one actually in Washington DC when I was visiting there. With my family on vacation. So there's a certificate of authenticity. Silver proof set. What's really cool about these is that uh, these quarters are the uh, state quarters and they're silver. So they're pretty cool. So again, this sheet tells you all this information yada, 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 everything. And so this one actually has a uh, dollar in here. And what's cool is it has a Kennedy. And that, yes, that Kennedy 
is not clad. I believe that Kennedy is silver. Let me just take a look here. See for proof what we got. So as you can sell, tell, those are quarters, 90% silver. Quarters, we got the cent, gram, nickel, nickel, copper, nickel, dime. Dime is obviously silver, half dollar. Kennedy, there you go, 90%. So that Kennedy... Yep, so I was right. That Kennedy is silver. Even though it is a 05, it is silver. So there's the reverse side. Pretty neat. And what I really like about it, I don't know if you could tell in here. It's actually sort of like when I originally got it, I thought it was two-tone, but it's not. It's just a coloration. When you look in the light, it looks like golden. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah, kind of tell there. It kind of looks two tone, but it's really not. But it's pretty neat. It's just the nickel has a little bit of toning on it since it's been in the box for a while. And there's a buffalo at the bottom, and then the uh, ocean in view. Oh, the joy! And then there's the quarter set up top these are really nice and it's just really cool because these are like ultra cameo look to it in the back it's just absolutely beautiful set here really neat if you're i would advise to get this this is really neat if you're a silver collector stacker you know it's just so these are all the different types of uh collecting that you have of silver here Kind of get you a overall expanded look of everything besides my, uh, besides that. So I already went over that in pretty good detail. So again, thank you for hanging on. I know this is a long video, but this is everything that I have to show you. I hope you got a lot of, uh, excitement out of this video. It wasn't too bad. Again, this is my second silver video. It's pretty much my entire collection here, so... Gotta find a way to bring you guys some more silver videos, but... Hopefully you like it. Hit that subscribe button, share with other silver friends, silver enthusiasts. Give it a subscription. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell for future videos. And thank you guys for watching and happy stacking.